One day before the New Hampshire primary, a fierce showdown and open warfare in the Democratic presidential race. I get it. And he's a good guy. He's a great mayor. But guess what? He was a mayor. Joe Biden bluntly belittling the experience of Pete Buttigieg, who served for eight years as mayor of South Bend, Indiana. It was hardly a sign of confidence from Biden, who's trying to reset his campaign after running fourth in Iowa. The attacks were reminiscent of questions that rivals, including Biden and Hillary Clinton, once raised about Barack Obama during his 2008 campaign. He went on to be president. Is this a act of desperation on your campaign to be oh, making on, this man. You think assertion he, right now these guys, of Mayor this Buttigieg? This guy's not a Barack Obama. Buttigieg shot back Sunday on CNN State of the Union. Well, he's right. I'm not. And neither is he. Neither is any of us running for president. After a strong showing in Iowa, Buttigieg is now wearing a bullseye as rivals try to slow or block a surge in New Hampshire, where thousands turned out to see him at weekend rallies. New Hampshire frontrunner Bernie Sanders is also taking aim at Buttigieg, suggesting he's in the pocket of wealthy donors. I'm running against some guys, Pete Buttigieg among others, who have raised campaign funds from over 40 billion, 40 billionaires, 40 billionaires. Our campaign is a very different campaign. Buttigieg rejects that claim and fired back at Sanders. I respect Senator Sanders, but when I hear this message go out that you're either for a revolution or you got to be for the status quo. That's a vision of the country that doesn't have room for most of us. Elizabeth Warren looking for a New Hampshire jolt of her own. We have one job in November. Beat Donald Trump. But taking a different approach, reminding Democrats to focus on the task at hand. We're going to have to bring our party together in order to beat Donald Trump. And the way we do this is not by launching a bunch of attacks on each other and trying to tear each other down. And Amy Klobuchar drawing some of her largest crowds yet, following a strong debate performance Friday night. She's trying to strike a late spark and win over undecideds or convert supporters of Biden and others who may be having second thoughts. I am not the loudest person, but... Bit by bit, step by step, we have built this support for this nation. 